So we've already looked at how to create mailboxes or more accurately how to mail enable a user account. So in this video we're going to look at how you remove mailboxes or again more accurately mail disable an account. And that's an important distinction between the two uh, which I'll demonstrate for you. So here in the exchange management console we've got our list of mailbox users for the forest. Now I'm just going to locate the Paul Cunningham mailbox. You'll notice when we right click the mailbox there's two options here there's disable and there's remove. Now what a lot of people do when they're new to this process is they assume that disabling a mailbox is the same as disabling an account. That all you're doing is rendering the mailbox unable to be used. So what they really want to do is get rid of the mailbox entirely and so they naturally choose the remove option thinking that they will be completely removing the mailbox from their server. But that's not exactly how these two options work. So if you recall when you're creating a mailbox you're really mail enabling an account. So the reverse of that process is to mail disable an account. So choosing disable is what removes the mailbox from the server. If you choose remove, what you're actually doing is removing the mailbox and the user object from Active Directory. So you're not just removing their mailbox, you're actually deleting them entirely from your Active Directory. And I'll demonstrate that now. So I've highlighted Paul Cunningham, right click and I'll choose remove. And you see that I'll get a warning here that says removing the mailbox will remove the Windows user object and mark the mailbox in the database for removal. Are you sure you want to remove Paul Cunningham? So over here in Active Directory users of computers, there's my Paul Cunningham user object. I'll say yes to this prompt. So he's disappeared from the mailbox list, which is what you want. But over here in Active Directory users of computers, the user object is gone as well. So that's a trap that some people fall into when they're just trying to remove their mailboxes or remove a mailbox from their server. And they inadvertently delete the entire user object as well, which was not what they were planning to do. So let's take a look at the correct way to mail disable a user. So we can choose any of these mailboxes here. I'll just choose uh, Amanda Waters, right click and disable. Disabling the mailbox will remove the exchange properties from the Windows user object and mark the mailbox in the database for removal. So it will leave the user object behind. All it does is it strips it of its exchange properties. You can say, are you sure you want to disable Amanda Waters? So let's go back to Active Directory users and computers and find that user object. There she is. Say yes. So the mailbox is gone. But this time the user object is left behind. So all that happens is it's stripped of ex exchange properties but the user account itself can still be used to log on to workstations and access network resources.